Sijui Vin Simba akwa hapa nyuma yangu ana drum rolls angegonga drrr. Hmm. In studio I have the one and only uh, the multi talented powerhouse. She's a hey, not only a music artist, she's a content creator, she's a speaker, she's an author, she's a hey, a lot of things. Kush Tracy. Yes. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How's it doing? I'm Thank you. Fine. Thank you, thank you, thank How's you. How's your week been? My week has been great, mm -hmm. busy, but good and blessed. Yeah, it's been good. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, thank you so much for having me on the show. Mm, I'm well, humble. <laughs> when, Trace, uh, when I was just going to greet Trace, I was like, do you know what? We have met before, <laughs> but I'm not going to say where <laughs> right now. I'm not sure. Did you meet in a bar? <laughs> or did you meet in church or at mm, an event? I don't at, know. At a studio. At a studio. Yeah, that was years back. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it has to be Pacho. Hey, that's Kitambo. Yes. I was in 2015. Yes. Because, yeah. I was, uh, okay, I've never even recorded there, but yeah. That was, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, oh, was that has Kitambo. to be 2015. Uh, that was yes. then I also doing, I was doing music then. Ah. Before I transitioned. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Eish, we are all in a transist to something else. To something else. Amen. Speaking of uh, transitions, yeah. from music to empowerment. Mm -hmm. How has that been? What's, what's the, what's the, what has influenced you to change? Mm. Jesus, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I think the most interesting thing is I never got into music thinking that um, I wanted to be a musician. I never grew up thinking I'd want to be someone who's known. I never wanted the fame. I never cared about you know being a celebrity. Like to me, it doesn't really matter, you know. So the way life worked out, and I got into this space of need of of um, being in the music industry. Uh, it was just never enough. Like it was, uh, there was a lot of emptiness that came with it. Like out here, fans will, you know, yay, it's fun, it's all of that. You know, the lifestyle which we we portray and we sell and we uh, we push for. Um, to me, it was empty at the end of the day. I was like, this is not really what I want to do um, in the next few years, and uh, this is not what I'd want my kids to get into. This is not the version of me I'd want to have a family and for them to say this is our mom and this is who she is. So getting into the music side, um, I think it was one of the ways that God aligned for me to pass to learn so that when I transition to become a speaker, I'll be able to speak from a place of authority. Because when I speak about the music industry, it's not one, been there, done that. When mm -hmm. I'm talking and speaking against drugs, what I've been there, done them, you get. So um, I think um, the beautiful thing about God uses every single thing about our life, even when we make mistakes. Maybe my life would have been different if I took a different path. But then again, we're given freedom and free will to make decisions. Mm -hmm. So I made my own decisions knowing very well this is not the right thing to do. Like, you know, when you're being promiscuous, you know, it's not right. You know, later days and you're not going to see right. But we still go ahead to do it. You know, we do not care. We're like, no, no, no. Let me learn for myself. Let me see for myself. Let me explore. So um, going through that and just getting to this place where I was like, ah, I think it's about time, you mm -hmm. know, like mm -hmm. it's just about time because you've done everything and then nothing is different. Nothing is changing. It's just maybe different brands you're consuming now, um, just different places you're going to. But the, the, the thing that is happening there, it's still the same thing. So I got bored. I got uh -huh. bored of that lifestyle. I was like, you know what? It's never that serious. <laughs> you, like, know, you can say you got bored. People are wondering how. Yeah. Like I used to follow you on TV. I used to see your music videos. I used mm. to come to your shows. Mm -hmm. How did you get bored? I think I just got bored with the hangovers. I got bored with the just, you know, um, for lack of a better word, um, meaningless conversations and surfaced conversations mm -hmm. and just hyped conversations that don't really um, necessarily help anyone else. I just got bored with the mediocrity of what we propagate as cool and trendy and helpful at the, um, at the same time not caring about the end user and the so-called fans mm -hmm. and uh, how it directly influences them. Because me promoting alcohol, maybe to me I can control how I drink, but then someone else will get into drinking because I drink as a fan and they think the lifestyle I'm portraying is the it thing, then they get into addiction. Mm -hmm. So I just start, I stopped thinking about me and I started thinking about my fans. And I was like, I've done this. There are probably a lot of people started smoking, drinking, and, you know, being ratchet because that's the lifestyle I, pro I portrayed to be, you know, to be like empowering women, empowered women, we do this and all of that. But the reality is no, mm -hmm. it's not. That is you, you're, you're, you're taking people uh, down a very wrong and bad path. So I just became accountable and... Uh, 
just decided to um, use my experiences and to just right my wrongs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have spoken about the influence actually mm. as when you are an artist that you had and mm -hmm. you decided to change, okay, let me spread out the positivity of what I can speak about. Mm -hmm. Right now we have a new crop of uh, people with influence. Mm -hmm. We call them content creators. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if they're dancers, lip syncers, or they just go to the street and wanna pig and duru. Yeah, uh, I know, <laughs> you'll still get famous. Like it's interesting how you can just do something very silly, but then if you're looking for fame, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you're also a content creator. Yeah. Uh, uh, what type of content now, apart from just speaking for social media, do you create? Mm -hmm. Is it in line with also your empowerment and your initiative, what your initiatives do? Mm -hmm. Well, um, no, I'm a bit diverse because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm someone you can't put in a box. Um, and it's interesting. I was having a conversation with a friend yesterday and uh, it was just in relation to how I use my content to still influence what I believe in. Uh -huh. So we're just having a conversation in between, um, you know, when I'm like when I'm doing cooking, cooking doesn't necessarily involve anything to do with ministry, but I'm very intentional with the music I put. So for me, I'm careful. You won't find secular songs in my content. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm kingdom oriented. I'm like for God's agenda. So it's either through the music which I share, it's either through, like you get. Yes. So for me, I, I try to make sure everything that I touch, there's a God agenda when I'm doing it. As I'm cooking and you guys are enjoying my videos, I'll put a song and that song might minister to someone, remind someone, by the way, I need to get, uh, I need to spend some time with God. You get. So for me, I'm strategic like that. I make people enjoy how I cook. Okay, how do I bring ministry into this? So. That's actually a, a, so a brilliant just, idea. Yeah, yeah it's just, you know, finding a way you, you, you still, um, I, my main agenda is the God agenda. It's the kingdom agenda. Everything else I do on the side, it's a way of God providing for me to mm -hmm. sustain me. Mm -hmm. But aside from the sustenance, my main agenda is what he's sending me to do. Yeah. Um, I, I was saying that as interesting way to actually pass a message. For example, mm -hmm. I, maybe I like checking out food. I love looking at cooking vlogs. Mm -hmm. I might come across someone who is cooking. They have yeah. secular songs. Yeah. But then I come across yours and it hits me. Oh, wait, this is kind of unique. Go to your profile and then the message just hits in depending on what you might be running, but you're yeah. still doing the same. You might do your yes, daily activities. Yes, I'm very kingdom. Yeah, it's called the, uh, uh, even fashion. And I'm doing like things to do with fashion and all of that. I'm very strategic with the message I put out. Yeah. It's either, it's going to be through the music, through what I caption. I'm very kingdom focused. I'm really, like sometimes I might slip up here and there because I'm not a perfect person. I'm very imperfect. And I'm still, you know, the journey, the journey when it comes to salvation, it's, it's, a, it's a process. It's a journey. You're not, you know, you're not going on a hundred meter sprint. You never get to the end. We can never attain perfection. But each and every day I choose to be intentional because I never know which is my last day. One day I'll just wake up like this thinking it's going to be a normal day. Then that's the day I'm like, capish, ara here. So oh, I try God to forbid. be... Huh? God forbid. No, I'm like, you know, when it's your time, it's your time. I think a lot of people fear speaking about the topic of death because people are not ready. Then there's the idea, yes, we all know there's a heaven. But mm -hmm. then again, if the heaven is for good people, wh where, where do the rest go? Because all of us, we can't go at the same place. Watu wenye wanadhulumu wengine, wezi enda pale ambapo, wadhulumiwa, wenye wajadhulumu mtu, wanaenda. Kiswahili kitukuze. Kiswahili kiheshiniwe. You know? But uh, do you get what I'm saying? Yes. So a lot of time, we, we, we don't like having the conversation surrounding. That's why I say we, we are a generation who talk a lot about surface things. We don't want to talk about the reality of the situation. And where am I even saying um, I'm very um, strategic when it comes to the music I try to put out? Not even as a musician. That's why I focus more on speaking than how I do music. And uh, it's because music is very spiritual. Mm -hmm. There's so many things. It's very interesting because for me, there's music which I did that got women to get into promiscuity. And when it plays, women all of a sudden, they become very sexual. Because they're like, that's the message, that's the spirit which is carried in the music that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, having, that, um, having that revelation that music is very spiritual, I don't want to, um, to be someone who gets into anyone's space and the music that I'm propagating changes your atmosphere, I'm at the way you're thinking. You see, sometimes you might be chilling. That's why kuna mziki ya kukuvuta, kinduku, sindio? Ziko. Kuna get manze mki chili, kuna ile mziki nyuski zanga, sindio? Mm-hmm. Kuna time, kuna ngoma mkianza kusikiza all of a sudden, tunataka drinks, tunanza kusema, eh, hey, sasa nani tuchangeni, tuchangeni. Una get, yes. like, 
music is very it's it controls us in so many ways and influences us in so many ways mm -hmm. and for the longest time i did not know this so what i was doing i was doing it out of this is Jewy, Sini, Do, Sini Hype, Sini, this is just who I am, you know, I'm just an artist, this is what I do. But you see, there's a reality that, um, there's a truth when you get to know about God. There are things you can't, then it's not, uh, things just don't go every day like it's not normal. Things have to change. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think um, the revelation I got through reading the word of God and spending time with God, Ilini Fungwa Macho, that's why I understand all of us we can see, but spiritually we are, we are blinded. But once your your spiritual eyes are opened, the way you look at things, the way you approach things become very different. Mm -hmm. So for me, I know music is very spiritual. Music is not just music. Music is not just music. That's why there's music which in a sona kwa violent all of a sudden. You yes, know, yes. There's, there's a lot of aggressiveness. And that's oh. why when you go to church, una in mm -hmm. church you won't find someone talking. No. Right? No. Ato akimba praise, utakwa, eh, I know you, eh, mwana. Like, you know, nah, nah, like the actually atmosphere. Actually, songs, they change. When yeah. they change slow music, and people are now worshipping. Exactly, and when they, it goes to the slow music, yeah. and this is, this is so interesting, look at this. When it's slow music in the church, hands up, people are crying, we are worshipping. Mm -hmm. When it's slow music in the club, all of a sudden, I want to be, ni mechora saba, and I'm grinding my guy, and I'm like, you know, there's a lot of sexualization. Mm. The tempo of the music is the same. But it's the spirit which is carried in the music that is different. That's why you ask slow music on this side. All of a sudden, we are very people want to get. Eh, we almost go looking for beds in the club. Mm -hmm. But when we are in the church and it's slow music, it takes you. The spirit takes you, connects you to God. Mm -hmm. So music is very spiritual. And I say this: my message is not for everyone. I'm like when you're nataka kufanya vitu mna do please fanya ni mimi siwakatazi. My message is for the few people who have done it. And they are trying to get out who are so confused about what they're supposed to be doing who feel like there's a bigger call over their life i mean there's a bigger purpose over their life but they don't know how to get to it so i say this my message is not for everyone even mm -hmm. jesus when he came eh? so me, I mean, I say, me, the only thing i'll say because i made a covenant with god i will never go anywhere and sugarcoat what is told me i'm a revealed to me just for the sake of making people feel good. Why? Because the only thing which can set you free is the truth. And if the truth is what sets you free, that means the lies, what keeps you in bondage. So for some people, the truth, I'm at the reality, I'm at just the realization of, um, kumbe kitu ina wakingivi, kuna msia jube do ye innocent lufanyanga vitu. But kuna kitu aneza sikia kwe like, no wonder when I'm listening to this all of a sudden I want to smoke weed. And right now it's a crisis. We have students who cannot even keep on, um, in Itoje, um, they're they are not updated even when it comes to their schoolwork in campus. Why? Drugs. The other day, see me last week, I was Gazeti. Campus students, they're highly addicted to drugs. Yes. It's drugs, it's alcohol, it's... And then we're sitting here, we're saying, no, it's okay. Um, Actually, to kai, to petition, pass to the left. We cannot keep on propagating the same speaking thing. Speaking of uh, yeah. young, uh, like students uh, or people who are underage, yeah. do you think... I'm a, in your own, own opinion, do you mm. think uh, social media has played a key role, especially right now we are talk, having a conversation on TikTok mm -hmm. and regulating TikTok and the kind of content that is passed on on TikTok. Yeah. Does that have a major impact and how can we as uh, people who have already been there, done that, mm. use the same platforms and try to tell these kids, okay, uh, you, you slow down, mm. whatever you're being shown is just a part of what these people experience. Yeah. Is, is there a way that we can harness this through these social media platforms, especially TikTok? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's so interesting. Um, personally, um, there's a time I was with a friend of mine. Uh, so we were on TikTok. And um, I was just telling him, initially, when I was still of the secular world, uh, um, when I used to go on my TikTok, I used to see a lot of, um, for lack of a better word, I'd call it nonsense because it's just not the content I consume nowadays. Mm -hmm. A lot of just nonsense, like it can't help me in any way to grow as a person and all of that, aside from, you know, wasting my time and uh, and all of that. And I'm like, that's good content because sometimes we need to relax. So sometimes I consume a bit of that, you know, comedy and all of that, not just uh -huh. everything. Uh -huh. And... Uh, so there's a time my TikTok was like that. Nikiangalevi like a kuna kitwina ni saidi as a person. It's all ha 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 ha. Oh, oh, Indu you talk here. Like that was the reaction. Yeah. But right now when I go, that time uh, with my friend, we went on TikTok. Nika mbe fungwa TikTok yako. Nika fungwa TikTok yango. We are scrolling. So based on what you watch, the, the algorithm, algorithm yes. in akuletia the same things. Yeah. We are scrolling um, TikTok yake. And the TikTok you are seeing a lot of boom boom. Bam bam, niksema boom boom, ni boom boom, bam yeah. bam. <laughs> a lot of nonsense you get. Mm -hmm. Very sexual. It's very sexualized. So I was like, you see, the moment is in the vitu no nanga, and it's the content 
maybe you are searching for algorithm in understand ah huyu kichwa yake ni vitu anataka kuona so that is what comes up we went to my tiktok you are scrolling inspiration summons mm -hmm. Content and any kind for me, I will not say TikTok it all away because for me, TikTok is jenga sana. Sometimes I don't have time to go on YouTube and listen to a whole thing. I go on my TikTok because of my algorithm, the ni may structure me kuja sasa in a peak the content I listen to. I can go online and I get inspired in like less than 10 seconds. So I wouldn't say TikTok it all away. I'll say this people need to be aware, even the people who are consuming as our fans. They say this anyone who feels like me as Kushtrace in a more influence and a fanya be too wrong. Me as Kushtrace in a fanya na kwana pressure kwa lefia kana feel ni kama amechele wana bitu. Do me a favor and follow me. Do me a favor and unfollow me. Because you see, if my life negatively influences your life decisions and your choices, I don't want to be the one accountable to that. So do me a favor and do what? Unfollow me and follow other people who inspire you. And I want people to realize this. I have a huge social media following. But then again, there are days I slept mm -hmm. unhappy. I've still been depressed with that social media following. So there's this also mentality which we have. Uh, we have young people who are always like, hashtag follow for follow, follow. And I'm like, I go to some accounts and I'm like, because I just needed to understand it. And I'm like, we're having young people who just want followers for no particular reason. Right. Number one, you have nothing you're promoting, pushing, or doing on your account. It's an empty account, but mm -hmm. you want followers. Then I'm like, there's this obsession to have followers because um, we lack identity as a generation. Meaning, the young people are seeking for validation on social media. So when you get that like from someone you don't know, you're like, hey, mimi ni mwashimiwa, <laughs> mukubwa, you know. And I'm like, it's all a lie. Because even for me, I do understand. I have people who follow me because they're waiting to see the day I'll fall. I have people who are following me to see less siku yenye manzi wata sama asi, tulijua wewe, una get. So not everyone who's following you is clapping for you. Not everyone who's following you is clapping for you. So they also need to understand that. Something else when it comes to influencers, and this is something a lot of people will not say. When it comes to influencers, a lot of times we post the highlights of our lives. We don't like saying the truth. And why? Because people want to hear sweet messages. I want to hear what I already want to hear. You get what I'm saying? Yes. I want to hear what I want to hear. So as much as you might be, even right now as I'm speaking truth, kuna mse and I feel offended. There is, yeah. Ndani you are newer, but I don't want to hear it. I'm not ready to face it. And I'm like, it's a journey for everyone. But I'd rather tell you the truth and you hate me for telling you a truth that can help you eventually when you're ready, than for me to come and tell you sweet nothings that don't do anything for you. Mm -hmm. Influencers hi put highlights of the best parts of their lives. A lot of times we don't share the, the, the dark side of it. We won't show you the negative side. We'll show you a lifestyle because we want you to be a design flan. But you only need to to onyesha the reality kwa ground vitu venyeziko. So it's a whole different thing. Yeah. So be very careful of the things the people you call or you're following. Follow Jesus. The rest of us, <laughs> we are people. Skumoda, we wake up, there's no TikTok, there's no Instagram, there's no Facebook. <laughs> then what yeah. we're hashtag follow for follow, where are we following you? Exactly. You know? So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we, <laughs> we all agree we are following Jesus. <laughs> Please. But <laughs> where can we follow you on, we on, on your socials? Okay, on my socials, Kush Tracy, if you look for me, you'll find me. Yeah. So, um... You know, like it's never that serious, yes. man. It's never that serious. Uh, today, yeah. we had asked a question on social media. Mm -hmm. And as I'm going to ask you the same question, I hope my producer upstairs, or rather my director, mm -hmm. you can get, uh, there's a surprise video that we wanted to watch. So if it's ready, okay. please get it ready for me. The question was, mm -hmm. what made you laugh recently? Recently? Yes. As in, uliangua tu kicheko kasema, Oh! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Where did Wait, you guys uh, <laughs> go to dig for? Well, is this one on my page? Oh, okay. Oh my. Where? Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, this is so interesting. What made me laugh this week? This is what made me laugh. This is what so, made me yes, laugh. Yes, I was going there. <laughs> this is Because I looked at it, I was like, really? Yeah, you know, I've always been an introvert. Sometimes even my mom tells me she, she wonders how I do what I do and speak. Mm -hmm. she, she doesn't get it. Because when I was a kid, I was very quiet. Like, literally, I was very quiet. Mm -hmm. Really, very sitaki, like, Mimi, kadoli zangu, mniyeke pale. Washamba. 
Eh, hey, I used to go to farm with my dad and my mom. We used to have like a garden. Ya maskuma na nini. Then that was Kamburu. Jam kwanza I thought I'll be eaten there. Unikuna swim hapo. Unikuna kwa swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I got to know how to swim. That's why I'm, so, I'm such a good <coughs> swimmer. My dad taught me how to swim when I was a kid. I can't even remember <laughs> learning how to swim. I just know I've grown up knowing I how don't. to swim. I, I don't. You know? I don't know. 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 Oh my. This is All so right. interesting. Alright. So, uh, yeah. tulikuwa what made you laugh. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> I think what made me laugh is um, I think I had uh, I, I had an encounter with God last week mm -hmm. and um, it just hit me. Like for the longest time I was running away from the call because I thought I knew what I wanted to do. I thought like I had it figured out. Like this is who Kush Tracy is. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to pursue. This is what I can become. Then just the shock, like you know, the way sometimes you sit, then you're like, I look back what who I was and what I was doing, then I'm like, what I'm doing right now, and I'm like, I never saw this version of me, I never. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> girl, Ulidani when you talk about Musani, and I see you in any, yeah, it was very sarcastic. I was like, God, you got some humor. <laughs> I was like, I thought I'd be like, you know, I, I actually initially I thought I'd just be, you know, I mean, William Sani Nini. But then the way God transitioned me into uh, being a speaker and um, just the opportunities and the platforms I've gotten to speak in and even the future platforms I'll be able to speak in and how I've become an inspiration. Like I meet people and they're like, there's something you talked about. There's something you said in our university. You came to our high school and those are the kind of messages I get. Yeah. In all honesty, I never saw this version of myself. And that's why I tell people, if you want to transition, to change and do better. And, um, oh, before I forget, there's this, um, you know, we talked about a lot of things. This is what people say. Just because a lot of people are saying evil is good, it doesn't make it good. Just because a lot of people are saying bad is okay, it doesn't make it okay. Uh -huh. Just because it's being accepted by majority, it doesn't make it okay. So I, I tell people, please don't have a mob mentality. Have a single mentality. Like, think for yourself. Before you do anything, before you pick up that drug, before you try, try that cigarette, before you try that bangi, before you try your first drink if you've never drank. Right now kids are at home, they're going back to school next week. Before you try it, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. Who's told me to do this? Because you see a lot of times it comes from friends. Ukiuliza anyone ashe kunywa ama anyone no kunyaga. Ukimuliza, it's always a pressure. Kuna beshte yako fulani alikuambia nini? Ah, simbaya. Even when anzanga. But you see, it's, all, it's only simbaya until, because not all of us have the same tolerance, until one of you gets into um, addiction. Then now, you don't know what to do. Your life is messed up. Mm -hmm. Na ilianza na simbaya. Kidogo si, tu. Kidogo tu. Ah, so for me, wapa. why I'm Kaku passionate jai. about <laughs> what I do, it's yeah. because I've met so many young people when ilianza na simbaya, si kidogo. And right now they're struggling in addiction. They don't know how to get out. So my story is if God could get me out of it, then he's given me the grace to do what? To get other people out of it. So I'm like, if you're following me and you know how promiscuous I was, mm -hmm. how ratchet I was, I'm not ashamed of my past. Mm -hmm. Because in spite of it, God is still using me in this generation. So that's what I want to give people. I want them to know there is hope. It doesn't matter what you've done as a young woman, as a young man. It does not matter what you've done with who, where, umechoma, ikaban, ikaungua, ikakua ash. It doesn't matter. No. God can still make beauty out of ashes. Now, Tracy. Yeah. How do, uh, we have a few minutes left, mm -hmm. but this was a burning question. My director, <laughs> my new room here. Okay. How, <laughs> <laughs> um, how do 14 people come to write a book? 14, it's actually 17. Seven, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chapter by chapter? Yeah, ama everyone has, uh, no, no, no. Uh, actually, all of us, we ended up, we met, we actually met during the launch of the book. We've never met. We were called um, separately, and we were told this is the vision of the book. And um, everyone was told to just write their chapter and uh, to just you know it was all about leadership mm -hmm. and i think the most interesting thing as i was you know writing i was writing i was being i, I was called um i honestly uh, initially like earlier last year i had wrote like in my journal like, resolutions like you know god as i'm working with you i hope in the next five years i'll write a book you see my timeline was five years but by the end of the same year from nowhere you get a call the call is aligning to what God is calling you to do. Me, I'm asking this woman, Mimi naandika kitabu sayi leadership. Where am I leading people? You see, then I had the self, uh, I started uh, self-imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. Ika creep in. Because I felt inadequate to be in that book. And this is just last year. 
around I think November. I felt inadequate. And why? Because I started remembering everything that I've done in my past. That, that's how the devil works. And he was like, no, you're not worth it. You should not write that book. You're writing about leadership. You're leading people where? Mm -hmm. But then God reminded me, where I'm calling you, you might not see it, but I need you to trust me. So this has not just come. This has come because I'm sending you somewhere. And sometimes God will show you where he needs you to go by bringing some opportunities and you're in a car. Ay, ikitu manzeme nilikuwa nda nitafanyika in a few years. But analeta tuku kwenyesha. Yeah, that's your timeline, five mm -hmm. years. Right. But imagine with me, this thing in as was close as Kesho. Right. You wake up tomorrow, things have changed. Mm -hmm. So there is that. So all of us were called differently and were told to write about leadership. And me, I was very, um, I didn't know what to write. So I went into prayer and fasting. And uh, the Lord was like, you know what? I've already been teaching you. You have been going to speak. And, I'm t and what I'm sending you to do is to call out people to understand it doesn't matter at the position, your age. Mm -hmm. It's all about um, you being a leader to yourself. Like you have just, uh, you as a person having um, personal leadership. And that means if I'm a leader to myself, number one, I control what I listen to because mm -hmm. the ears are the gates. I control what I watch because my eyes are also gates into my spirit. The other thing is I control what I take in. You get? Yes. So for me, I was very... <laughs> Hey, this is an interesting angle. So I was like, okay, God, hey, embracing the leader within. <laughs> God came and through that's how at, it the, went. at the right opportune moment. Exactly. I was having, uh, like, uh -huh. Apple backstage, I was telling uh, Tracy that every time Nikianza could watch her short videos, I just keep on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling <laughs> and scrolling and scrolling. Thank you, Adopt. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Uh, you. Unfortunately, Director Masai, Masai, and Akuchapa. <laughs> Mr. Director Paul Esana, but thank you. I'm humble. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Yes. Um, remember yes. the hashtag is hashtag social Friday. You can check out uh, more of Kush Tracy on her social media handles. Mine is at Masai KTA. Meanwhile, we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, we have another Tracy. Hmm. Today is Tracy's day out. <laughs> Why two five four?